Of course, it's only 15 months until the next election. Who will be the Democratic nominee to be accused of murder by Donald Trump? <laughs> Let's get after it in tonight's Dune and Donkey style. Oh, the Wilker! Double donks! Kick them donks! Every four years, candidates descend on the Iowa State Fair to narrow the field by clogging their arteries. This weekend, they opened wide. Kamala Harris tore into a pork chop. Bernie redistributed a corn dog to his face. <laughs> Andrew Yang promised this turkey leg $1,000 if it voted for him. <laughs> Even vegan Cory Booker ate a deep fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich on a stick. <laughs> As a vegan, I assume Booker also ate the stick. <laughs> of course, some Democratic candidates are trying to differentiate themselves from the pack by releasing plans. My favorite so far is this one. Bernie Sanders says that if he's elected, he'll reveal whether aliens are real. <laughs> aliens exist. <laughs> aliens exist. It is time for higher taxes on those who live long and prosper. <laughs> Everyone deserves universal probe coverage. E.T., phone your congressman, because for too long, the 1% of the elves have eaten 90% of the cats. <laughs> the Republican health care plan is a cookbook. It's a cookbook. <laughs> Pew, 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 pew. One candidate had a particularly bad weekend in Iowa. Former vice president and guy about to eat a deep-fried microphone, <laughs> Joe Biden. It all started uh, when the former vice president spoke at a town hall in Des Moines and uh, it said a whoopsie. We have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Wealthy kids, black kids, Asian kids. But leave it up to Joe to come up with a perfect cover for a gaff. More gaffs. Because he tried to get a zinger on Trump's lies by saying this. We choose truth over facts. We choose truth over facts. Hope over optimism. Faith over belief. And synonyms over words that mean the same thing. That's what we chose. <laughs> News of Biden's gaffe got back to the president who tweeted, Joe Biden just said, we believe in facts, not truth. Does anybody really believe he is mentally fit to be president? <laughs> nice. Nice try, Mr. President. But Biden didn't say facts, not truth. He said truth over facts. You got being wrong wrong. <laughs> also... I believe, I believe this is a case of the pot calling the kettle mentally unfit. Take a look at the oranges, the oranges of the uh, uh, investigation. The diversity, lottery, diversity, and diversity. By an anomalous, really an anomalous. The combat infantry been advising lawmakers. We appreciate it very much, Tim Apple. Nambia. Tanzania. Venezuela's. And God bless the United States. See? See, Mr. President? <laughs> Mr. President, you're not one to talk. Seriously, please stop talking. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight.